So now we are living the world today and uh, the young people are giving a testimony of uh, how things can be changed or how they can have a voice. Um, how do you imagine that it's going to be on together on the 3rd of September? But it's important that young people also have a voice on the Synod also and we see that it was not so easy to involve them to be interested in the Synod and I think this event of a prayer vigil on St. Peter's Square can help very much young people to enter into this synodal march of the Catholic Church now here. We found a lot of interest also in other churches. That's very, very interesting that other churches also want to know but what happens now in the Catholic Church. And they want to participate in that and we are very glad that this together event can take place. It will be a whole weekend and young adults can come to Rome from Friday to uh, Monday to Sunday or Monday and uh, there will be a program for young people in the city and then on Saturday afternoon on the 30th we will walk towards St. Peter's Square to experience that the Synod is walking together and there we will have the ecumenical prayer with Pope Francis and different church responsibles who will come to join that. As you said, the different church and the ecumenical is a testimony of dialogue, of that we can work together as one people of God, isn't it? Yes, yes. Unity, it becomes more and more important in a world where there are more and more divisions and centrifugal uh, powers we, that take away and so we need also moments and places of unity and that in the Catholic Church also because there are also tensions in the Catholic Church but with all the people of God what unites us is baptism we are all baptized in Christ and I think this reality of baptism we have to take much more serious that in baptism there is already a certain unity which is not perfect yes yet but a certain unity that is given and we want to show that and to celebrate that.